you suffer from the debilitating symptoms of chronic pain, swelling, and loss of joint motion due to arthritis? Are you taking drugs like Celebrex and Vioxx or other super aspirin prescriptions? If you are, you're increasing the risk of heart attack and stroke by up to 50%. This is Dr. Tom Rosell, host of Dr. Tom Rosell Live Sundays at 12 noon. Why live with pain or the dangerous side effects of drugs when the doctors at the Rosell Center for Healing practicing 21st century integrative medicine can help you experience relief like never before? Simple, safe, chiropractic, acupuncture, and nutritional care can provide significant relief from arthritic pain in less than six weeks. More than 70% of our patients experience a return to life far beyond their expectations. Give yourself the best gift possible, freedom from arthritic pain, naturally. Call today to schedule an appointment. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellcare.com. Dr. Tom Rosell live right now on 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. What a beautiful fall day. Reminds me of Western New York State where I grew up. What a great place to be when it's like this. Lousy place to be a couple months from now when the snow's on the ground and they snow about 300 inches a year. But welcome to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. We have a great program in store for you today. And as always, 12 o'clock noon, you set aside, you listen to me, and then you go out and enjoy the rest of the day. Unless you have a walk set or something like that, put it on. You can go out and listen now. Nevertheless, we're going to talk about a very, very interesting and different subject, one that, unfortunately, many people aren't really aware of the ramifications, and it can cause all kinds of uh, subtle problems, uh, but the, the impact ones are like face pain and headaches and neck and arm and shoulder pain, but it also can affect the internal environment of the body. What am I talking about? How far reaching of a problem? What we're talking about is temporomandibular joint dysfunction, or TMJ or TMD, and it's one that you can't just you know, say, well, oh, I'm going to go put a mouth guard in and fix it. You actually need somebody who knows what they're doing and what they're talking about, and to help me do that today, to really get the nitty on this thing, is good friend, brilliant practitioner, Dr. Michael Chung. Michael, welcome. Thank you very much. It is uh, my pleasure and an honor to be here. Glad to have you, Mike. It's it's always fun talking to you about these things because, you know, you're the expert in this field. We see it in our practice on a neuromuscular level. We we look at patients structurally. We look at the nervous system. We look at how they're handling, you know, uh, actually the the misadaptation, if you will, the maladaptation of structure, and the rest of the body begins to compensate. So you you've got you know, when we talk, we talk about the vertical dimension, but you've got the TMJ, this jaw joint. Uh, you know, we call it the pump handle of the skull. The skull has 22 bones, and it moves as you breathe in and breathe out, but the jaw bone itself is what causes those uh, those bones to move in a, in a very rhythmical fashion. So, Dr. Mike, what I want to do is I'd like to get into this a little bit, and, you know, there's 35 million people that suffer, or more probably, from uh, the direct effects of TMD. What is this condition, really? Walk us through it just a little bit. Well, the dysfunction is basically um, uh, where the temporomandibular joint is out of balance, uh, and usually the muscles have to compensate because of the the way the teeth meet together are, are not in balance with the joints. Uh, and because of that, uh, the muscles usually fatigue or go into spasms, and then, of course, you, as, as you said earlier, it would have all kinds of other ramifications uh, descending down the whole system. Uh, so it it is probably one of the the most um, uh, prevalent problem out there next to back pain. Mike, listen, I, the, here's the here's the question that I have. There's you know obviously many people suffer from this. They go to their dentist and said, well, you have a TMJ problem. We have to fix it. And you know a lot of guys and we're going to get into this conversation later. They'll you know they'll throw a bite plane in there and just so the patient can grab onto it. But Let's talk about the subtle causes of uh, TMD, TMJ problems. And today, uh, today is what the the third of the month, and November is TMJ Awareness Month, so this is very appropriate. And you know, your profession's out there trying to make people aware of it. And by the way, if you have a, a question for uh, Dr. Chung or myself, triple eight six three zero nine six two five. That's triple eight six three zero nine six two five. Love to talk to you, particularly on this subject, but any subject that you have in mind. We're here for you as always. Michael, what are the the causes of 
TMJ, both the subtle and, I mean, obviously get punched in the face, you know, playing ball, get sure. hit, you're going to have a problem. But other than that. Well, I mean, it can be as simple as a uh, trauma, like you said, a blunt trauma there, whether it be car accidents or being hit by a ball. But the s- subtle things such as just grinding your teeth or having uh, some type of uh, bad habits, uh, you know, w- moving your mouth or playing some type of instruments for some people. But the most prevalent is probably when a patient's uh, a bite has not developed correctly. And it's usually a problem uh, during childhood as they're developing. They may have had some form of allergies uh, to environment or to milk or whatever it may be for that patient. Uh, they, their airway is obstruct, obstructed in a certain way that their teeth develop uh, to occlude very deep bite, and that's usually the main reason why most people would start developing TMJ problems because their mandible or their lower jaw is being pushed too far back. So when we're talking about a child, this is, I mean, we're going back to the beginning stages of development. How does this, better question, how does the child uh, adapt to this? We're talking about, now correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm sure you will, a child would look like they have an overbite? Yes, they would normally have a, a overbite, and uh, their palate would be very deep and narrow. Uh, so it is very important to catch this early on, and uh, a good dentist would usually fit them with a expander to keep their palate expanded and allow the lower jaw to grow into that uh, correct position. And so they have enough room for their tongue and their airway, and uh, they're not posturing their head forward with lordosis where they would start developing neck and other spinal issues. So it's an adaptation process that takes place over time. Absolutely. How, you know, we see kids today being put in braces very early, and it's, it blows my mind because my brain says, you know, the, the mouth hasn't even seeded yet, if you will, and they're continuing to expand, the head's growing, the, the jaws are readapting to the muscular strain and the ligament pulls and so forth. Can bad application of uh, bracing causes problem and that would show up as the child is beginning to mature in their teens later on and perhaps in early adulthood. Yes, absolutely. Um, there, unfortunately for the human body, we can adapt to many things. And, uh, and uh, to straighten the teeth, um, uh, you know, even if you put them in the wrong position, most people are able to adapt and, and they do fine. But there is a portion of the population that is not going to do well, and they will develop all sorts of spinal problems and neck issues. Uh, and, and the reason for that is because uh, to straighten teeth, sometimes teeth are extracted, and, and there is a, um, uh, a balance issue that is not addressed, usually with the muscles and their joints. Uh, and they can develop all sorts of TMD and other issues down the road. Well, I tell a story in my book, Mike, and I think you've you've written, uh, read the the book, and it talks about this young girl. She was about 11 years old, and she came into the practice many, many years ago, and she had a beautiful spine. Her parents would come in with their whole family once a month, and they would get checked structurally. They'd get tre- checked nutritionally and acupuncture and so forth. And she was leaving for the summer to go to grandmother's house, and because she, when she left my office that day, she was going to go have braces put on her teeth. And, you know, in those days, it wasn't the status symbol that it is today. So she has the braces put on. I don't see her again uh, July, August, and next time I see her is the first part of September, her getting ready to go to school. Here's a girl with a perfectly straight spinal system, and now she shows up two months later with a spinal curvature, 23-degree curve. It's huge. And all in two months. And the only thing that had changed, there was no falls, there was no trauma, is that the dentist had put the braces on. And then, thank God, there was a guy by the name of Mike Marfino out of uh, State University of New York. He was a professor of dentistry there. He was also an applied kinesiologist. And Michael, I was freaking. I was two years in practice. And Mike said, send her over. I'll take the braces off. I'm going to send her back. You do the structural corrections. Fortunately, in about 100 days or so, she had a perfect, perfectly straight spine again. How often do you see it, not in your work, obviously, because I know your work is fantastic, but in people who put uh, the, wrong, the wrong fix for the, the, the condition in place? How, long, how often do you see a, a structural maladaptation that way? I, I'm sure it's happening every day and everywhere. Um, I don't know the exact number, obviously, but uh, I do see it quite frequently on my new patients, and uh, it is a whole process of educating the patients and uh, 
and uh, there's nothing more than uh, getting successful cases uh, t- to, you know, confirm that. My guest in studio, Dr. Michael Chung, LVI graduate, one of the, the best in the business when it comes to neuromuscular dentistry. Love to talk to you on any subject that we can come uh, fix to, 888 That's how you find us here. If you'd like to reach us off the air, all you have to do is go to drtomrosell.com or rosellecare.com. R-O-S-E-L-L-E-C-A-R-E.com. We'll get back to you and answer your questions. We're talking about temporomandibular joint dysfunction and pain, and it can be devastating. It can be life-destroying, so to speak. Dr. Michael, question. A lot of people think facial pain has to do with something other than, you know, a, a disrelationship of that TMJ. They, we, we have a tendency to think that things like trigeminal neuralgia or tic rue, which is an irritation of the, the trigeminal nerve, uh, is viral or is bacterial or something like that. Not so much. Many of these conditions are simply a bad uh, vertical dimension of that TMJ joint. Correct. Um, it's uh, most most of the times patients are grinding or clenching and doing things. Uh, sometimes it's due to stress, but other times it's just because they just have a bad vertical dimension and, and an improper bite. And I don't know if you've ever experienced just having your bite into the smallest little piece of sand. It feels like your whole jaw is going to break. It is that ouch, sensitive. It is that sensitive of, of a system. Uh, and any part of that is imbalanced. It's going to make a tremendous damage to your joint. Let's talk a little bit. You know, I want to talk about uh, many of the causes of TMJ as we go forward today. But let's talk about the not the fix, but how do you really find out? Patient goes in, you know, to see you, and they say, "Well, you know, my doctor told me I have a TMJ problem." Um, you know, can you confirm that? Do I really have one? You know, is it really there? What do you do? Sure. Uh, fortunately, to help me. Um, to diagnose properly is a system called the K7, and this is a pretty sophisticated computer system that uses electromagnetic sensors, sonography, uh, electrocardiogram type of uh, electrodes that can actually test the muscles, the joints, the how the the jaw, upper jaw, and lower jaw is moving during chewing, swallowing. All these tests uh, can be done to figure out exactly where the optimum and ideal position is for each patient. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I, l- I like watching that uh, that diagnostic because you can you can really see because you put you put on a tens unit on the patient and you're you're knocking out all the the muscle patterns and then pretty soon your your jaw and your TMJ and your your teeth are just in a laxed place where you can approximate them and know that they're normal and then that's what you fix. That's correct. It's somewhere in that free space. Your lower jaw is just hung by many different muscles and, and ligaments and things, and there is a somewhere where your lower jaw hangs, there is an optimum position where it's perfect for your health and for your chewing. Dr. Michael Chung, my guest in studio. Dr. Chung has been very gracious to offer all of Dr. Tom Rosal listeners the opportunity to have a courtesy, absolutely free consultation. Just come in and talk to him. How do you do that? Do you give him a call at 703 703- Three one nine six nine nine zero. That's seven zero three three one nine six nine nine zero. Or go online to softtouchdentalcare.com, and that's soft touch with one T. It's S O F T O U C H Dental D E N T A L C A R E dot com. Either way, check them out. This number again is seven zero three three one nine six nine nine zero. Tell them that uh, you listen to him Sunday on the program and you want to come and talk to him and he'll be delighted to do that for you. November, TMJ Awareness Month. We're here to take your calls. I'm going to take one call very quickly and probably hold him over, but Glenn, thank you for calling, sir. How can I help you? Hi there. Um, Four years and 11 months ago, I did something and I'm convinced it has caused me a TMD problem since. What happened, Um, Glenn? Specifically, after eating some real bad food, I threw up, I vomited, and I remember to this day being a spr- um you know, really, it was weird because my mouth extended wider than any time in my life having vomited. And ever since then, I've never been able to, I'm a singer, and I've never been able to sing right because along with this jaw soreness, and I've tried bite plates and, and et cetera, et cetera, it comes and goes. I rub that muscle back there, um, and then my whole back of my neck tingles in relief, my throat, and then it tightens right back up again. It's definitely, a, it's definitely a TMJ, TMD problem. Dr. Chung, what would you 
take from that? Is that possible? Yes, I think uh, possibly that uh, he's had this neuromuscular issue going on for a while. It sounds like the straw that broke the camel's back. That's correct. And uh sounds like there may be some issues with hypermobility in his TMJ joint. And that usually happens from your uh, disc in the joint being stretched and stretched and stretched through the years. And finally, uh, the ligament basically tears or it's stretched out and it will not go back in. And that may be what's happening in your case. Um, so it's pretty crucial, um, you know, before it gets to even later stages that you have this checked out and corrected. Glenn, I'm going to hold you over. We've got to take a break for some important information and news. Don't go away. I do have a couple questions that I'd like to ask you. And uh, it's going to be interesting. I, I think this is, uh, is, it is the, the tip of the iceberg. This is Dr. Tom Rizal. Did you know that routine mammograms can increase radiation exposure to breast tissue 1,000 times over a chest x-ray? Now consider a simple, non-invasive, and totally safe medical procedure approved by the FDA since 1982 that can detect breast cancer five to eight years before it can be visualized on a mammogram. Infrared thermographic imaging can accurately detect the initial signs of breast cancer as increased blood supply and metabolic rate, which is recorded as heat. Why expose yourself to radiation when accurate and safe medical detection is available? Call the Thermography Center of Fairfax to schedule a breast exam today at 703-948-7248. That's 703-943-7248. For more information, visit www.thermographyscan.net. That's thermographyscan.net for the Thermography Center of Fairfax. The Roselle Center for Healing is a proud supporter of breast cancer awareness and reminds you to conduct a monthly breast self-examination and a thermographic breast scan as part of your annual wellness checkup. This is Dr. Tom Roselle. After 35 years of practice and almost three quarters of a million patient visits, the Roselle Center for Healing knows what works and knows how you can take control of your health and wellness. My team of doctors practice 21st century integrative medicine. Whether you suffer from chronic pain and fatigue, allergies, or headaches, we can help. Take charge of your health before it's too late. Make an appointment today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellecare.com. This is Dr. Tom Rosell, author of Ageless Health, Health Is, a do-it-yourself program. My book, now also available in audio version, is a step-by-step program of how to take control of your health and wellness without drugs or needless surgery. You have the capacity to change your health and level of well-being. Take control of your health today and order Health Is, a do-it-yourself program. For more information and to order, please visit agelesshealthbook.com. That's agelesshealthbook.com. Welcome back. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell live. We are in studio. It is spectacular, spectacular Sunday day outside. Hope you get a chance to get out there and enjoy it. It's really beautiful. Give us a call at 888-630-9625. My guest in studio, Dr. Michael Chung, one of the most amazing neuromuscular guys around when it comes to understanding the temporomandibular joint and temporomandibular joint dysfunction. Pain patterns are awful. They can destroy not only your your health, but your life long term. It can really eat away eat away with you slowly. Uh, Dr. Michael, we're going to get into a little bit more, but I want to get back to Glenn. Glenn, are you still holding? I sure am. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Listen, so here's here's my take, and Dr. Uh, Michael's going to jump in uh, at any time with this. You got a situation. You're a singer, so you go out and you opened your mouth, and you know uh, you vomit, and you have a problem, and now you have a mechanical instability, a mechanical inability to normally approximate the jaw again. So that tells me that just doesn't happen because, you know, particularly if you're a singer and you're you, you've been using that apparatus for a long time, there should be an ability there to stretch a little bit beyond the vertical dimension. However, here's what I think. That that skull, that TMJ, the upper part of your spine, all have to be lined properly for you to have normal function. If your teeth have shifted in any way, if you've had bad dental work, and we're going to get into that a little bit later in the, the program, that temporomandibular joint is not going to set, and you're going to continually, in an unconscious way, wiggle to try to find a good place for it. So now you have a situation where you stress out just a little bit and mechanically stress out, and now you put yourself in jeopardy. And that jeopardy situation means your TMJ, that joint space that is so critical to so many different things, is no longer in a great place. Right or wrong, Dr. Chung? 
Yes, absolutely. Um, TMJ is the only joint in your body that uh, you have two joints that are attached to one bone, which is your jaw bone. And uh, all the other joints have their individual bone and joint, so it's not as crucial for the complete balance of of your whole lower jaw has to be balanced, which is basically how your teeth come together. So if there's any torquing or bad dentistry or something that's not right in your bite, it is going to uh, put a lot of torque steer on your in your jaw and cause all sorts of problems, especially if there's already been some damage. Uh, just a generic uh, a bite guard uh, will never work because at this stage of the game, you have to get all the torque taken out. It has to be in the correct neuromuscular balance. It has to be in the optimum position for your jaw joints. So there's all these different calculations that has to be calculated in, which no human being can do. So it has to be done under uh, the K7 evaluation system that we talked about earlier. Glenn, uh, Dr. Chung's uh, available in Oakton, Virginia, probably 20 miles or 20 minutes from uh, where you are in Bethesda. So, uh, can I ask a quick question? Sure. sure. So um, for years, of course, I've been Googling this issue, and I was making good progress up until about two weeks ago when I read something and I tried to do an adjustment on myself um, by pushing down the back rear molars. And since then, <laughs> it, it actually worsened the scenario. Is there a possibility, and I've seen this on YouTube, where a doctor will make you know, a, a strenuous, seemingly looking you know, strenuous kind of correction on a person's jaw and all of a sudden they're healed. Could it be as potentially as simple as that? Most likely not. Um, it's, when you push down on those molars and it got worse, it's that's was a correct observation. It, most likely in your case, your vertical dimension has to be increased. Those molars need to come up. The fact that you're overclosing is the reason why you're putting all those stress in your joints, because your whole jaw is moving back and basically squishing on those joints and the blood vessels back there. And you're going to feel pain in the back of your neck and head, and it's going I to do. radiate to the... And my forehead's tight. Yes. yes. That's exa- I will definitely come and see you on this. Glenn, thanks for your call. I appreciate it. But that's a very, very typical problem, and it's one that uh, not only uh, Dr. Michael Chung sees on a regular basis, but we do as, as well. Uh, this problem is one that is so far-reaching and, and so significant. To let it go only de- de- deteriorates and destroys your health long-term. Uh, we have several other people online, and I'm going to get to them when we come back after the break. We have to break for news in a couple minutes. But before we get there, Dr. Michael, TMJ problems uh, obviously are significant. One of the things that I want to, to ask you, and I know this is putting you on, on the spot, but just I asked the question, okay? You didn't offer it up. Bad dentistry. How much does it contribute to the problem? Uh, being a dentist, I'm sorry to say that it is probably a big deal um, portion of uh, the problems out there. Um, so it is important to, like I said earlier, to be able to put the balance back in to the person's bite, and that's usually uh, is going to affect the muscles and the joints. So you have to line all three and not just the teeth themselves. You know, one of the things I tell my patients, and I know that I drive dentists crazy around the Beltway and every place else that I have the opportunity to to talk and teach them, is that if you're going to have anything done, whether you're going to have a crown or you have a filling or you have uh, any kind of heavy-duty work done to your mouth, when the dentist is done, they take that little carbon paper and they go tap, 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 tap. How do you feel, right? How do you know how you feel? You're numb, okay? (laughs) So the point of it is, Get up off the chair and stand. I do that to you when I go in to see you. Sure. You know, stand up yeah. and do it that way. Now you're in a normal gravitational position. That's the way you should be. That's the way your jaw should hang normally. Don't lay on your back. Get up and have them do it that way and tell them that Dr. Tom Rosell told you to and I'll take the flack. But that's that's the way it has to be done. We're here at triple eight six three zero nine six two five. That's triple eight six three zero nine six two five. My guest in studio, Dr. Michael Chung. Owner, operator, Soft Touch Dental in Oakton, 703-319-6990. That's how you find them. Dr. Chung will be delighted to consult with you, discuss your problem at absolutely no charge. Give him a call. We're coming up to the news. We'll be right back after these important messages and to let you know what's happening around the world. Mm-hmm. 
Welcome back. This is Dr. Tom Rozell. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rozell live. We are in studio. It's beautiful outside. But join us for a while more, and then you can go out and play. 888-630-9625. 888-630-9625. That's how you find us here in studio today. My guest, Dr. Michael Chung. We're talking about temporal mandibular joint dysfunction because... It's TMJ Awareness Month, and over 35 million of you suffer from this malady. And we're talking about the normal vertical dimension, uh, we'll use the word occlusion, of the mouth, your lower teeth and your upper teeth. As they come together, they have to be normal so that your TMJ, that hinge joint at the side of your face, works you know, the way it's meant to work. And if it doesn't work the way it's meant to work, then you have pain, you have headaches, you have neck and shoulder problems. You can actually have visceral problems. That's right, the internal mechanism of the body. Dentists are very well aware today that if you have a bacterial infection of the gum chronically, uh, periodontal disease, that you can end up with heart problems and other things. But we can take it one more step, which we won't get into today, but each tooth in the mouth has a organ system and a muscular system that it connects with neurologically. That's called neurological tooth. And we'll get into that, but today's not the the place or the time because we've got more important things. Angelo, how can I help you? Thank you for calling. It was about last week's show. Uh, you mentioned uh, that we're talking about stomach problems. You mentioned taking some apple vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. Bragg's. Apples, Bragg's. You, didn't, you didn't mention how to dilute it and the amount to take and when. Well, you I'm said in the morning. I remember you said in the morning. In the morning, empty stomach, two tablespoons, about eight ounces of water, and you can add Tupelo honey to it if you want to, about a teaspoonful of it. Drink it uh, kind of room temperature like a, a warm tea, and it will help alkalinize your your, uh, your whole body. Uh, the, the vinegar is acidic acid. It's a very, very mild acid, but when it, it absorbs in your body, you actually create an alkaline environment. It's, it's really top level. So uh, give it a shot. Let me know. But make sure it's Bragg's Organic Apple Cider Vinegar, only well, organic. Well, I did try it at one time, and I kind of got, like, nauseated a little bit. Maybe it wasn't the right consistency that I used. No, it may be detoxing you. It may be that your system's a little toxic, and it'll, it'll do that. When you start producing the right levels of digestive enzymes, and that's what it's doing, it's mitigating, or it's, it's uh, mimicking your stomach acid. And if uh, your body is somewhat toxic, it's going to dump the gallbladder, it's going to gu- dump the liver, and that's where you're going to get the nausea from. So that tells me that you've got some other other issues that are going on, but it's not going to hurt you. Give it a try again, and but make sure you use 8 ounces of water. Two tablespoons. Start out with one tablespoon. Don't go, go don't go right, heavy. Cut it back. Yeah, cut it back. Go gently, and you can always get a hold of me on online at uh, rosellcare.com. Let me know what's going on, and I'll kind of guide you through it. But Angelo, thank you for your phone okay. call. I appreciate thank it. You. Yes, Doctor Chung, let's get back into talking a little bit about this, and then we have other phone calls that we're going to definitely get to. Uh, TMD, TMG, TMD are disasters when they're not corrected properly. And they can have a lifelong pain-producing situation. Patient says, well, my mouth feels normal. I can, you know, I can chew things, but I have this pain. Is there any guidelines? Are there criteria that a patient could say, well, maybe it's not just, you know, it's it has to do with my jaw. What would, how would you tell a patient to uh, to look at this thing, how many different ways can they self-diagnose? Well, if they are having uh, usually symptoms of uh, clicking or popping in their jaw, uh, if there's any kind of grating noises, and maybe sometimes the jaw may get locked or uh, even locked open or locked closed. Uh, if they're having difficulty opening there's very a lot wide, of people I wish their mouth would lock. No, cl- <laughs> never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> That's a different topic, right? <laughs> but. Uh, I mean, there are little clues uh, that can tell them that that uh, it's you know it's more than just their teeth. Uh, and if it's starting to ramify into the TMD, you'll usually have other symptoms of the muscles tightening up, locking, grinding, uh, usually headaches. Uh, so, but you may not have some of those symptoms and still have TMD. Um, and you mentioned 35 million people in this country. That's probably a conservative estimate. Those are people that are probably having lots of actual pain and problems, but but it's more like every three out of four person in this country have some form of TMD problems. 
Uh, it's just that they've been able to adapt to the problem. You know, it's it's one of the more far-reaching conditions that we see. And I asked you on the way up, uh, do you do the sport bite planes? And it came out, you know, a, probably a decade, 15 years ago, where they found that if they stabilized the TMJ, that athletes got stronger. They got faster. How does how is that whole neural mechanism related? Yes, well, you should know more than that than <laughs> I do because you're being a kinesiologist. But, but they found that uh, putting them in a correct neuromuscular bite position optimizes their uh, the, their ability to control all their muscles and their neurological balance is so much improved that they become better athletes. And uh, uh, one of the first uh, you know discovery was made when a power weightlifter was given a, uh, a mouthpiece orthotic, and all of a sudden he was able to lift weight that he was never able to accomplish before. So, it, and, and it's, you know, for the average person out there, they can actually try to lift something with keeping their mouth open and not, not putting their teeth together. They'll realize that they're much stronger once they actually are able to bite down. And then if you're able to bite in the correct bite, then you can even be enhanced even further. Triple eight six three zero nine six two five. My guest in studio, Dr. Michael Chung, owner, operator, Soft Touch Dental Care in Oakton, Virginia. Dr. Michael is a graduate of the very prestigious LVI Institute in Las Vegas, Nevada. One of the guys that I know who really understands this whole neuromuscular problem probably better than most out there. Uh, you can give him a call, 703-319-6990. That's 703-319-6990. And Dr. Michael has graciously offered to do courtesy consultations for Dr. Tom Rosell's listeners. All you have to say is that you heard him Sunday on the radio program. Make a, uh, a call. Talk to him. Great guy. You'll enjoy him. He's straight up. No BS. And he'll really give it to you the way he's supposed to. Calvin, how can I help you? Thank you for calling. Hi. Um long time listener um, thank you sir my my question is uh I was reading about uh decalcification of um salt tissue um well um i have um a d h d i've been suffering from it since I was a kid and um I've done some uh journeying through meditation and um have tried to uh figure out ways where i could uh not not cure it, but uh, what's what's kinda, what's calcified in your body, Calvin? What's do, do you I'm, specifically? I'm, I'm assuming going? that it's that it's maybe some brain tissue. I've read about. Uh, All right. Do you know uh, that? Do you know that's for sure? Um, no, I don't. Okay. One of the most common areas in the brain. Since uh, I'll take the topic and run with it a little bit. One of the most common uh, things to calcify in the brain is the pineal gland. And it's uh, kind of an interesting, and that controls multiple hormonal patterns uh, throughout the entire system. So a lot of people will refer to it as the third eye and so forth. But the pineal is, is very specific in its application. But let's just talk about calcification generally and whether it's in the mouth and it happens uh, sometimes in the dental structure or w whether it happens in neurological synapses or in, in tissue. One of the things that we see are people are way too acidic. When the body's acid, the body has to go into a protective mode to try to buffer that acid. And how it does it is it by start taking your calcium from your bones to neutralize that acidity. Sometimes in the most deficient mineral ever for all of us is magnesium. Uh, we don't have enough magnesium to buffer our, our calciums. We don't have enough magnesium to keep the acidity, acidity levels down. If you don't have enough magnesium, your nervous system's not going to work. Your adrenal glands aren't going to work. So you've got to increase. If I have a patient that has kidney stones or if I have a patient who has gallbladder stones, one of the things I'm going to put them on is very high levels of magnesium to, to try to pull that stuff out. You've got to change the diet. The diet has got to go highly alkaline. If there's a lot of... Um, uh, very identifiable calcium in the body, sometimes EDTA, uh, which is uh, was discovered years ago uh, as, as it relates to uh, lead accumulating in the bone, and that was, goes back to World War II. But EDTA uh, will also take out calcifications in the arterial system. So there's a lot of different ways. It depends on the patient. Increased water, it has to be natural spring water, very filtered. Uh, that works. So you can, you can go... 
Distilled water sometimes will work, but you can't stay on distilled water for a long period of time because it will do other types of damage uh, to the system. But uh, again, it's individualistic. It depends where it is. It depends on the dietary patterns. But that's where you start, Calvin, and you you have to make sure that. Uh, you know exactly what your body is doing, but those are those are benchmarks and those are things that uh, we can happen. Very common situation, Dr. Mike. And uh, let's get to a few more phone calls because uh, there's a lot of people waiting. Jack, how can I help you, sir? Hi, doctor. My name is Jack. I, my life has been devastated by TMJ. I've lost over 20 pounds. I can't eat. I can't sleep. I'm just at my wit's end. It's making me crazy. Jack, how old are you? 69. Okay. How did this start? How long ago? Uh, probably about four or five months ago. I went to see my dentist. He doesn't think that it's TMJ because the pain is down in the neck muscles all around the hyoid bone. It just gets very painful. Jack, before I let Dr. Uh, Michael grab this, uh, I just want to get some historical differentiation. In the last year, 18 months, any injuries, any accidents of any kind? No. Okay. Have you had any dental work done in the last year or two? Yeah. I had dentures made. Okay, go ahead. It's all yours. Yes. <clears throat> um, sounds like you probably lost some vertical dimension and your uh, your uh, bite has changed due to your dentures and your uh, proper neuromuscular system was not restored uh, to the correct position. And that will make, uh, usually that's very common for people to get complete uh, dental work done or dentures in your case uh, and all of a sudden start having TMJ problems. So it's uh, probably very important in your case to hurry uh, and get a uh, something made, a uh, new denture, new uh, bite plane of some sort uh, measured in the proper place and then uh, you should be able to get your uh, TMD uh, corrected. Jack, this, you know, I feel badly for you because that is that's a devastating situation. You shift that TMJ in the wrong direction, and not only can't you chew or bite down on things, but uh, the pain pattern that you're going to go through is awful. You, when you're sleeping at nighttime, you're going to keep moving your mouth to try to find a neutral position, and that's one of the reasons people grind and they brux all night long. Uh, another thing is, I'm sorry, another thing is I salivate like a mad dog. I mean, it just drools. It's crazy. Yeah, that that's probably f because of the, uh, the the plastics, the dentures that's in your mouth that you're not used to having. That will improve through through time. Uh, eventually, your salivary glands will, will get used to that and uh, will not be flowing as much. But uh, in your case, I think there's something more uh, uh, crucial. In your case, is before the 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 ligaments completely tear, you probably want to have that corrected. Any of our any of our uh, listeners right now, if you just move your mouth and just you kind of wiggle it around and so forth, you're going to find that you're going to produce excess uh, uh, saliva. And yeah. when your dentures are not fit properly, you're constantly moving. You're trying to get uh, get it into a neutral place. That's going to add to it as well. Jack, um, get a second opinion. Uh, give Dr. Chung a call and you know talk to him privately. See what he can do. Uh, this is something that you don't need to suffer with. Uh, appreciate your your uh, your calling. Uh, Lori from Maryland, how can we help you? Hi, doctor. Thank you for taking my call. Thank you. I am. I was a dentist's worst nightmare. I've had um, every tooth in my mouth was broken due to grinding and clenching over a 20-year period. I recently had everything corrected uh, through three surgeries with a wonderful doctor named Stephen Birch, and I can feel systemic value to everything he's done. The teeth were the least of my problems. Every single tooth was fractured. Um, I was phobic. I had horrible TMJ. That would literally, I would pass out from the pain. It was, I've never felt more pain in my life. Yeah, Dr. Birch is um, a good friend, good dentist, does uh, phenomenal work. I'm glad you found him. <laughs> he's, he has changed my life. Um, I am only a month after treatment. I had three major surgeries, about 22 hours worth of actual surgery time to fix 25 years of neglect and grinding and clenching and bad dentistry. And um, I, my voice is shaking because it is so life-changing. Um, Lori, I really, really am delighted that, that you found him because he's an excellent dentist. Dr. Birch and, and uh, Dr. Chung both are graduates of the LVI Institute in Las Vegas. And so I know their work. I know his work. So good for you. Kudos. We're coming up to break. Uh, we have to take uh, time for some very important uh, messages, people who bring you Dr. Tom Rosell live. 
And then we're going to get back. We have a couple more of you. We're going to try to get you before the program's over. My guest in studio, Dr. Michael Chung. You can give him a call at 703-319-6990. Don't go away. We'll be right back. This is Dr. Tom Roselle. After 35 years of practice and almost three-quarters of a million patient visits, the Roselle Center for Healing knows what works and knows how you can take control of your health and wellness. My team of doctors practice 21st century integrative medicine. Whether you suffer from chronic pain and fatigue, allergies, or headaches, we can help. Take charge of your health before it's too late. Make an appointment today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellecare.com. This is Dr. Tom Roselle, author of Ageless Health, Health is a Do-It-Yourself Program. My book, now also available in audio version, is a step-by-step program of how to take control of your health and wellness without drugs or needless surgery. You have the capacity to change your health and level of well-being. Take control of your health today and order Health is a Do-It-Yourself Program. For more information and to order, please visit agelesshealthbook.com. That's agelesshealthbook.com. If you're looking for the best in natural health, wellness, and green living products, shop the Roselle Web Store on Amazon.com. You'll find a variety of products and resources that are designed to help achieve an ultimate state of health and wellness. Shop the Roselle Web Store on Amazon.com today. Visit DrTomRoselle.com and click on Roselle Web Store. That's DrTomRoselle.com and click on Roselle Web Store. Educate. Engage. Empower. Take control of your health with Dr. Tom Roselle and the Roselle Center for Healing. Information is power. Achieve an ultimate state of wellness with Dr. Tom Roselle's Education Lecture Series Video On Demand. Discover how to create an extraordinary life of optimal health and wellness. Visit drtomrosellecom slash education. That's drtomrosellecom slash education. WMAL FM Woodbridge, Washington. WMAL Washington. WRQX HD2, Washington. Welcome back. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rizal live. We are in studio, as always, every Sunday at 12 noon, bringing you the most intimate information on integrative care from things like we're talking about today, neuromuscular dentistry, to the work that we do in nutrition and acupuncture and structural manual work in our office. And what we try to do is put all the pieces together so that no stone is left unturned. So you have the optimization, the capacity, the ability to turn your health around faster than you could even possibly dream as possible. Dr. Michael Chung, an expert in temporal mandibular joint dysfunction, a graduate of the prestigious Las Vegas Institute, and we're talking about things that cause pain. Sal, thank you for calling. How can we help you? Uh, yes, uh, I don't experience any of the symptoms of PMD, whatever it is, but I was just wondering, I have what some dentists have referred to as a terminal case of overbite, and I was mm-hmm. wondering if if I try to repair that, or if there's any need to repair it, am I running the risk of uh, not done really getting TMJ? I mean, I don't have any problems. Again, I have overbite, but I don't experience any of the problems that you've discussed this morning. And like I said, I wonder if trying to fix the overbite, if there's a need to fix the overbite, if I can create a problem. Sure. Anytime uh, you change your bite, uh, you always run the potential of of having TMD problems, uh, so it's it's good to have a plan and uh, and not do the bite correction blindly. Uh, that's the main thing. Uh, I'm not saying that you will have a problem afterwards because uh, overbite is a uh, malady that you should have fixed. But it but you can yes you you definitely can have a problem afterwards if it's not uh, planned properly. Uh, TMJ is a very critically aligned structural system of the, of the body cell. And if you begin to change your bite pattern just willy-nilly or arbitrarily without knowing where that neutral dimension state is for you... Um, why should I fix the overbite? There's, if you're chewing properly and you're sleeping properly and you're not snoring and you don't have any problems with sleep apnea and you're satisfied with the way you look, I wouldn't change it. I'd leave it alone. I, I would agree with that. So, okay, thank you very much. You're welcome, Sal. Thank you for calling. 888-630-9625, that's how you find us every Sunday here doing our thing, giving you the information that you should have, bringing you the most up-to-date information so you can go out and do your own research. Remember, I've said repetitively, 
don't believe anybody, including me. Do your homework. Get out there and, you know, do the research. Use your doctors. Use me as a sounding board. See what we can do. I'll always talk to you offline. Uh, you can write me notes at rosellecare.com. That's R-O-S-E-L-L-E-C-A-R-E. My guest, Dr. Michael Chung, has been very gracious, and it's always fun talking to him, and he's offering you a courtesy consultation for Dr. Tom Rosell listeners. So you need to call and say, hey, listen, heard you Sunday, and then call him at 703-319-6990. That's 703-319-6990. Go online at softtouchdentalcare.com. That's soft touch with one T, S-O-F-T-O-U-C-H, D-E-N-T-A-L-C-A-R-E.com. And check him out, but say, hey, listen, Dr. Michael, I'd like to talk to you. And, you know, what can you do about whatever it is? Dr. Michael, let's talk a little bit more and wrap this up some. And are there cases that of facial pain that are due to TMD problems or headaches that are due to TMD problems? Are there TMD problems that don't respond? Yes, in extreme cases uh, where they have been suffering and been ignored for many, many years, like I said, once the ligament completely gives way and tears, uh, uh, usually the patient's pain, uh, if you endure that pain for a year or so, usually your body will adapt and the pain will go away eventually. But you will have limited mobility with your mouth and possible uh, bone-to-bone contact versus having that disc as a as a cushion there for your joint. Uh, so y- there will be some compromises, uh, and sometimes it can be corrected surgically, but um, uh, I would never recommend surgery unless you're in dire, dire straits. I mean, years ago, everybody wanted to go in and operate on that TMJ. They wanted to remove that disc and so forth. Well, the disc is out of position. Well, on autopsies on cadavers, 80%. 80% are not in the normal neutral position, and there's no symptomatic presentation. So that was kind of ruled out. So it is the way that temporomandibular joint hits the skull in a way that it pumps the spinal fluid, in a way that allows the other 22 cranial bones to move properly, and, if you will, making safe the exit of that trigeminal nerve that comes out of there, which people have committed suicide when that nerve gets all cranked up. The pain is awful. It's constant. It's chronic. It's like you've got sharp, burning, deep, unremitted discomfort that just has no end to it. So when you see a patient and they come to see you and they say, do I have multiple options? We've got about 30 uh, seconds. What are their options? Well, one of the options uh, is to basically put them in what's called an orthotic. It's a removable appliance that can orthopedically reposition them so that uh, they're in the correct neuromuscular position. And that's enough for most of the patients to get out of pain and to be healed. Uh, In extreme cases, they may have to uh, have their whole mouth uh, rejuvenated uh, with restorative dental work. In other cases, uh, if they have very nice, healthy teeth, we would recommend usually orthodontics uh, that will be moved to that orthotic position. Call Dr. Chung. Ask him what your options are and how you can handle your potential TMG problem. I'll see you next week. This is Dr. Tom Rizal. Are you dental-phobic? Do you neglect your dental health because of fear and anxiety? A beautiful smile begins with exceptional dental care, and you can trust in the expertise of Soft Touch Dental Care and Dr. Michael Chung. Soft Touch Dental Care is unlike any dentist office you'll ever experience. Their warm and welcoming environment is designed to soothe fears and anxiety the moment you arrive, and they're especially pleased to pamper their honored guest patients. Dr. Michael Chung is a professional and leading expert in all areas of comprehensive dentistry, including cosmetic, sedation, neuromuscular, TMJ, and implant dentistry. Offering state-of-the-art technology, Dr. Chung can give you the smile of your dreams. Arrange for a complimentary consultation today with Dr. Michael Chung and experience the expertise that makes Dr. Michael Chung so unique. Call 703-319-6990. That's 703-319-6990. Or visit bestinsmile.com. That's bestinsmile.com.